I just woke up. Let's check coin mark. What? Bitcoin, 8,700. Ethereum, under 1,000. Ripple, 85 cent. EOS. No, 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 no. Nebulous hasn't gone down, has it? No way Nebulous has gone down. Oh, my God. You win. I'm done. Please. I don't want to do this anymore. Oh, time to wake up and let's check the charts. Oh, green. Green, green, 37%, 37%, 20%, 20%, 19%, 12%, 18%, Bitcoin, 10%. Are we on the up? Alright guys, welcome to today's video. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a bit of price analysis on Bitcoin and also how history repeats it and what I think Bitcoin is going to do in the future. Also, a little bit of security and let your, uh, let your mind rest at ease a little bit and also some of the things that have happened in the past and why this correction we're seeing is perfectly normal. But first of all, let's get into the Litecoin giveaway and pick a winner. So the winner of today's Litecoin giveaway is Crypto Nile. Very good video. What's are your What are your thoughts on Tron and the long term? Tron is okay. It's just I think that the long term it's not going to. I don't know. It could well pump in the next few months without a doubt. I do not think it's going to be added to Coinbase or anything like that. I do, however, think Ripple is going to be added to Coinbase, especially with the new news of Santander. Um, <laughs> It's just, it's good news for Ripple. I'm not a huge lover of Ripple, but definitely I think Ripple um, has a future in cryptocurrency. So uh, congratulations, Crypto Nile, and let's send you the Litecoin. If you want to enter today's Litecoin giveaway, comment your Litecoin address down below, smash that thumbs up button, and don't forget to subscribe. As always, guys, if you guys want some sick crypto clothing, check the link down in the description, Crypt Threads, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, you guys know what to do. So getting into today's, today's video, we see there's a lot of green on the charts in the 24 hour price change, which is very, very nice. Although we can see this humongous dip here. Uh, it looks like we're starting to get a bit of that positive correction, which is definitely nice to see. Bitcoin is rallying just over 9,000. Hopefully it can push through 10,000 as 10,000 is a big psycholog psychological and emotional barrier for a lot of people. Once, bit once people see Bitcoin go over 10,000, you never know. People might think it's on the up again. They might start buying. The whole reason for this, I think, the whole reason for this big dip down to like 8,000 is just because there was so much FUD going around that Bitcoin is going to hit 7,500. All these price na um, analysis people were saying, oh, Bitcoin's going to hit 7.5K, it's going to hit it. So obviously people are going to get scared. The news, the media pick this up. People are going to get scared. They're going to sell their Bitcoin at 8 or 9, and they're going to try and pick some more Bitcoin back up at 7, 7,500 or 8, and maybe they can increase their Bitcoin holding. So that's what I think happened with Bitcoin. Um, but yeah, I just want to go over a lesson uh, the history of Bitcoin crashes. This is a great Reddit post here from X Crypto Guru X. Uh, props to him, he made a great post. Bitcoin has spectacularly died several times. Uh, so in the in June to November 2011, Bitcoin went down 94% from $32 to $2 because of the Mt. Gox hack. 36% reduction in June 2012 from $7 to $4 from the Linode hack. 79% in April 2013 from $266 down to $54 when Mt. Gox stopped trading. So Mt. Gox back then was pretty much one of the largest exchanges and there was that whole <laughs> legal battle and everything with, with Mt. Gox supplying bitcoins to Silk Road and facilitating the whole uh, <laughs> drug abuse and everything like that. 87% um, from 1166 to $170 November 2013 to January 2015. That is a phenomenal dip. The psychological price barrier there from a th over 1000 to under 200 is ridiculous. 49% February 2014, Mt. Gox tanks. 40% 2017 from 5000 to under 3000 China ban. I was around for this one and I still held. And there we go, January 2018, Bitcoin ban FUD from 19,000 to 8,500. This is only a 55% dip. I say only, but we can look at others here. We had 95%, 80, 87, 
50 percent so it's it's not the end of the world this you can see here this user says i've held through all the crashes who's laughing now not the panic sellers market is all about moving money from the impatient to the patient you see a crash i see opportunity you oh my god bitcoin's crashing i gotta sell me oh my god <laughs> criminally undervalued i've got to buy it word to the wise for the new investors what i've learned over seven years that whenever it crashes spectacularly, the bounce tw is twice as impactful as a record setting. I can't predict the bottom, but I can sure assure you that you will, we will hit 19k and go further beyond. As hard as it may be for a lot of folks to believe right to believe this right now, uh, if you haven't been th been through it before, then you probably don't understand. When Bitcoin was an all-time high a little over a month ago, people were saying it's too pricey now. I can't buy. Well, there's a chance now at almost a 60% discount. If you're not going to buy Bitcoin now at this price, you're probably never going to buy it. Uh, I just wanted to reassure you that maybe if you did buy Bitcoin at the all-time high, you're not the only one. You can see here this user, Body 3 Shores Shoes, um, sold all my Bitcoin at $750 in November 2016, then bought back in December 2017 at 18500 so basically for those curious i sold at the time of, at, at that time because i thought there was no way it could go higher i thought after the after the big crash on the previous all-time high that bitcoin would never go over a thousand again this is what people are thinking now people might be thinking oh bitcoin will never go over twenty thousand, never then it kept climbing i watched from the sidelines with several people i knew making huge returns and it made me sick that i sold Right before the, the all-time high, I couldn't stop thinking about this mistake I made from I, when I FOMO'd, fear of missing out. I convinced myself it was going to hit 100k, so I bought back in at 18,500. Now, here's just a little lesson for you guys. Never buy when the price is pumping. Never. If you just wait a month or two, yes, it might seem crazy. Just wait a month or two, you will see the correction, and you will be able to, to buy at the discounted price. You can see here, just, just over the last year, we see it pumping, 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 and there's a correction, pumping, pumping, correction, pumping, pumping, big correction. It starts to look like it's pumping. A lot of people probably bought here. They thought, okay, we had all-time highs of nearly 20K. It's down at 13K. That's a great buy. Yeah, it wasn't a bad buy at 13K. Definitely not that bad. But we see here, it went up again to 17,500, 18,000. And then we hear, we see the big drop, which we're on now, which is under 10,000. So never buy when the coin is pumping. Always buy when the coin is going down. That's just that's just the pure basics. <laughs> A little post I saw here. Remember, you need to panic sell now to lock in your losses. And this is very, very true. If you're panic selling your Bitcoin or your crypto now, you're just locking in your losses and just... It's just a bit, a bit foolish. One little comment I like down here is I'm, I'm going to let you in, you guys into a little secret since I love this community. If you sell low and buy high, you can avoid capital gains tax. Thank me later. <laughs> so that's very true. If you do sell low and then you buy high, you don't make any profit, you lose money. So then you can avoid your capital gains tax because you didn't gain any capital. So just be careful with Bitcoin. This, les this lesson of history of Bitcoin crashes is very, very interesting and you can see here what we're going through now is perfectly normal and no doubt bitcoin will rally straight through 20k i believe up to 25 30k in the next month or so or even two months we never know definitely hold tight on your bitcoin do not go selling it at all and yeah stick around for the long term if you did want to enter today's litecoin giveaway comment your litecoin address down below smash that thumbs up button and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video